Hello everyone. In previous video, we looked at solving lead code problem number 4, median of two sorted arrays with suboptimal approaches. Today we will look at solving this problem with optimal approach using binary search. Let's think on how to land to the solution. As mentioned in earlier videos, whenever the question has word sorted, then you should evaluate if you can use binary search or two pointers. In this problem, we have to search median, so the question is a search problem. Both the input arrays are sorted. This should give you a hint to use binary search. But the question would be, how can we use binary search to find the median? Let's take this test case to reach to the solution, where x is 1567 and y is 2459. The expected output would be 4.5. This is because if you merge the two arrays x and y and sort them, then the average of middle values, which is 4 and 5, is the median, which is 4.5. Now, if somehow you can use binary search to partition the arrays x and arrays y such that max left x is less than or equal to min right y and max left y is less than or equal to min right x, then we, we have found elements of interest which will help us find the median in the two arrays. Let's try to understand how can we use the idea of partitioning arrays using binary search to get to the expected output by taking this test case where x is 1679, y is 24510. The length of the two arrays is E1. The expected output would be 5.5. This is because if you merge and sort the two arrays, then the average of middle values is 5.5. Let's start by partitioning the two arrays at the middle index. Let's check if max left x is less than or equal to min right y and max left y is less than or equal to min right x. So max left x is not less than or equal to min right y because 6 is not less than or equal to 5. Whenever this condition fails, then we, ha we have to move the partitions. We want the max left x to be smaller to satisfy the condition. Hence, we move the partition to the left side. Whenever we move the partition of x to one direction, then partition of y will move in opposite direction, in this case to the right. This is the new partition of array x and array y. Let's check if the condition max left x is less than or equal to min right y and max left y is less than or equal to min right x. Now the condition has been satisfied. So we have found the elements of our interest, which is 1, 6, 5, 10. We found the right partitions. Let's talk how to calculate the median. When sum of length of input array is even, then the median will be this. The max of max left x and max left y is 5. The min of min right x and min right y is 6. So the median will be 5 plus 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 5.5. Let's visualize the solution where sum of length of arrays is odd and partition of the arrays will hit the boundaries of the array. Let's say x is equal to 1 y is equal to 2, 4, 5, 7. The median will be 4. This is because when you merge arrays x and y and sort them, then the middle element is the median, which is 4. Let's start by partitioning the arrays at the middle index. If you observe, max left x is out of bound in array x. In this scenario, we will consider max left x as negative infinity. Now we will check this condition. The condition is not satisfied. To satisfy the condition, we will have to make min right x bigger. In order to do that, we will have to move the partition of x in right direction. The partition of y will move in opposite direction of partition of x, which is in the left direction. This is the new partition. If you observe, the min right x is out of bound of array x. In this scenario, we will consider min right x as infinity. Now we will check this condition. 
the condition is satisfied and we have found element of our interest. When sum of length of input arrays will be odd, then the median will be max of max left x and max left y, which is 4. Let's code the partitioning solution using binary search to find the median. We will always ensure nums1 is the smallest array. If not, then we will swap the two arrays with each other. We'll initialize x and y to length of nums1 and length of nums2. We will initialize low and high to 0 and length of nums1. We will initialize half length equal to x plus y plus 1 divided by 2. We will start our binary search with while loop and the terminating condition low less than equal to high. We will initialize partition x to middle of low and high. This would represent partition of nums1 array. Partition y would be equal to half length minus partition x which would represent partition of nums2 array. Next, we will calculate max left x from nums1 array. If partition x is at the left boundary of nums1, then max left x is equal to negative infinity. Else, max left x would be equal to nums1 of partition x minus 1. Next, we will calculate min right x from nums1 array. If partition x is at the right boundary of nums1, then min right x would be equal to positive infinity. Else, it would be equal to nums1 of partition x. Similarly, we will calculate max left y from nums2 array. If partition y is at left boundary of nums2, max left y is equal to negative infinity. Else, it's equal to nums2 of partition y minus 1. Similarly, we will calculate min right y. If it's at the right side of the boundary, then min right y is equal to positive infinity. Else, is it equal to nums2 of partition y. We will calculate the intermediate results, which is max of max left x and max left y. Next, we will check if we have found our correct partitions, which is the elements of interest. The condition is max left x is less than equal to min right y and max left y is less than equal to min right x. If yes, then we will try to return the results. If the sum of length of two arrays is odd, then we will return the results. Else, we will return results plus min of min right x and min right y divided by 2. If we have not found our right partitions, this condition would be false and we will have to change the partition. If max left x is greater than min right y, then we have to search in the left side. We will do this by initializing high to par partition x minus 1. Else, we will have to search at the right side. We will do this by changing the value of low to partition x plus 1. Let's submit. Let's fix the syntax error by removing the semicolon. Let's submit. Let's fix the typo. It got accepted. Let's do complexity analysis of our code. The time complexity of our code is O of log of min of x comma y, where x and y are lengths of input arrays. Total space is O of 1 because we have not used any additional storage. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned.